Pencho Gyurgiev, Vratsa 1900, Sofia 1940. Montparnasse Cemetery is located in the southern part of Paris, near the Eiffel Tower. In a small hotel room with a view over its gravestones and sculptures shrouded in mystery, Pencho Gyurgiev painted his works A Woman from the Neighborhood, Bird Sellers, Cabaret, Homeless, Café and others in 1931. Sent to Paris under an Academy of Arts scholarship, the artist worked in cooperation with the famous Russian artist Alexandre Benoit at the Pigalche Theatre. In this city on the Seine, this Bulgarian artist lived in a state of permanent poverty and illness, but also endless inspiration. In one of his conversations with Boris Ivanov after his return to Bulgaria, Georgiev talked about the dual nature of this city, which has gathered some of the most eminent artists in the world, but also the tragedies of so many human destinies. Pencho Georgiev was born in Vratsa and graduated in decorative arts at the Academy of Art under Professor Stefan Bajov. During his studies, he made friends with Ivan Milev, Lyubomir Pipkov, Ilya Beshkov, Boris Eliseev, Ivan Nenov and others. He was sent to specialize under Paul Laurent in Paris, where he mastered the basics of theatre decoration and how, in particular, to build stage sets in line with the movements of the actors on stage. After his return to Bulgaria, he illustrated books and posters, took part in exhibitions in the country and abroad, and worked as a scenographer for Russe Theatre and Varna Theatre Productions. Sirak Skitnik commented as follows on his stage set designs. The great qualities of Pencho Gyurgiev as a theatre decorator are that he manages to combine architectonic whim, lyricism and artistic license with the practical requirements of stage setting and the rhythms of the human body. From 1933 to 1940, he worked on 20 national theatre productions, including Towards the Abyss, 1933, Sekul's Bride, 1932, The Gardener's Dog, 1935, The Unknown Girl, 1935, Ivanko, 1935, No Dowry, 1937, Under the Bridge, 1934, Fabien, 1939, At Dawn, 1940, and David Copperfield, for which he crafted the sets and costumes in 1940. Preserved architectural sketches and photos from this production clearly show the precision of this artist's work, his patience and high level of professionalism. With his sets for Ivanko, he took part in the Sixth Triennale di Milano, his numerous costume sketches often depict a particular actor in different states and provide instructions on the materials to be used. It is interesting to note his pictorial approach to costumes. Many of the sketches not only outline the clothes, but set the character in the foreground in an environment developed with its attributes. His stage work is typical of his special attitude to music, it reflects his activities in the opera, marked by his long-standing friendship with Lyubomir Pipkov. The folk themes in the opera production Jana's Nine Brothers, 1937, can be identified throughout the artist's entire graphic work, painting and stagecraft. The artist addresses Bulgarian rituals, customs and costumes, and most of all the Bulgarian mentality, marked in his various works by suffering. By an irony of fate, Pencho Georgiev died in one of his favourite places, the National Theatre. During work on the opera Salambo in 1940, he fell down the lift shaft of the theatre. Like in a folk song, his soul remains engraved on the stage forever. <laughs>